Hello guys, it is the morning time. It is 9 15 a.m. I'm not usually a very early riser or an early eater at all So I usually eat around like 10 or 10 30 um, But the first thing that I do always put into my body is a water because without water I just can't eat you know, so always have to stay hydrated So yeah, I just drink some water and then and then I'll show you guys what I eat for breakfast. So I'm pretty sure it's like close to 10 and I'm really hungry. Um, so I'm gonna go make breakfast. And for breakfast, I'm thinking that I'm going to make some French toast. And I do eat plant-based, so I don't eat eggs so or dairy. So the French toast isn't really like a true French toast um because the egg you definitely kind of need egg to make french toast but it's still really good and then i'll probably have some fruit with it as well um because fruit just fuels my soul and my body <laughs> i just can't wait until summer where like the fruit is just so good because right now it's just like not that good still but yeah let's go make some breakfast Okay, yes, I'm eating in my room because it's so loud downstairs and I needed to film. Um, but, but guys, this like could be probably the best looking vegan French toast that I've ever made. Usually I get it, I have a hard time making it like crispy, if that makes sense, or like toasted. Usually sometimes like stays soggy. Also, cause I just use like sandwich bread. Um, but this one was like, crispy you know so i was like really surprised i tried a new recipe and so i think it would be a lot better but let's do a little taste test i don't like eating in my room but it's good but with a lot of vegan things you have to use a lot of baking powder and sometimes it'll like leave the aftertaste of baking powder in your mouth and that's kind of what this does but it's crispy, so it's really good. I decided to make a smoothie because this is definitely my favorite way to eat fruit, especially like tropical fruit, like mango and pine. Well, I like eating mango and pineapple by themselves, but um, mm, it's so good. It's like the best tropical smoothie flavor. Okay, and the thing that I really like about this breakfast is there's a lot of like complex carbohydrates gonna get all scientific here but simple science will tell you that complex carbs are like the best most efficient way to fuel your cells so if you guys have dance in the morning or even school um eating like this so if you guys have like dance or school in the morning or something that you have to do in the morning this is definitely like a really good breakfast because it will make you focus more i don't like holding it like <laughs> It'll like help you be focused um, because those sugars in the carbohydrates will fuel your cells for like a really long time because they're complex. But if you eat, if you eat like simple sugars like white bread and stuff, um, I'm not saying like you shouldn't eat that, but it'll just like give you a spike in energy versus more of like a prolonged energy. So throughout my day, I really like to take a lot of supplements, probiotics, multi multivitamin, uh, making sure I get my B12, and even PMS gummies. Um, I just love to 
make sure that my body is getting what it needs to thrive. That brings us to the sponsor of this video, Ritual. So thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Even with the perfect diet, it can be really hard to get the nutrients that you need. So you just take two capsules a day and it has really high quality nutrients with no colorants, fillers, or additives. And also what's really unique, you guys, is it smells like mint. And they also look like this, like how pretty is that? Vegan, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. Their bottle is made from 100% recycled material. And because they replace the fish oil with the vegan algae oil for your omega-3s, they saved 273 anchovies per bottle. This is a subscription, so you subscribe and it comes to your door every month. So Ritual is so nicely offering you guys 10% off your first three months. So yes, 10% off first three months, use my code MAC and the link is in the description box. But yeah, let's get back to what I eat in a day. Okay, so it is like 3 p.m. and keep in mind I did eat breakfast at like 11 a.m. Um, and I don't know why, it just that's just... I don't have a reason for it, that's just like when I eat, like uh, maybe because I'm lazy, I don't know. So anyways, it's 3 and this is like the usual time that I'll try to eat something. Um, because usually I have dance until like 1.30 um, and then sometimes longer and then it takes me like 45 minutes, maybe even like 50 to 55 minutes to get home. Yeah, and then it's, it's just always like three or four of the time I'm eating lunch, which is like bad and weird, but, and I hate it, but it's just like how it is, you know what I'm saying? What am I gonna eat for lunch? It's always the question of the day. I really have no idea, but let's just go look in the kitchen and see what we can find, I guess. Okay, so I just like to eat random things for lunch usually because I don't really like to make anything. So I'll give you the rundown. Okay, so we have these tofurkey slices with the chow cheese. So they're both vegan. Um, these are like my favorite. The chow cheese. Perfection. Um, these are just like, wait. These are just like some crackers. These are dried apricots, which I love. Um, tortilla chips, guac, must have. Um, some strawberries, cucumbers, and hummus. And yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully I'm not hungry after eating this. I don't really want to be eating like two of these, but maybe I will have to, I don't know. And then I'll honestly probably eat some type of granola bar after this, so yeah. This cheese is so good. Other vegan cheeses are just like rancid, but this one, beautiful. I think it's made in Greece or something. It's really expensive. I think it's like five or six dollars for a little pack, but so good. Definitely my favorite part, chips and guac. Okay, I got... Just wait a second. Okay, I got boba. Um, I love boba so much. I always get matcha with almond milk. If the boba place does not offer plant-based milks, it's not a good boba place, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> no, it's not that they're not good, it's just like it's really disappointing, you know what I mean? Because I love milk teas and you don't like need real milk. Because this is so bomb and I love mosh, I'm obsessed with mosh. But this boba place is so amazing. Like the tapioca pearls are the perfect texture and they're sweet enough 
and the matcha is like perfect and i'm really sad because i'm definitely going to be moving soon and i'm like gonna have to find a new boba place and it's like that's like kind of sad there's just like the little things that are just like kind of sad about leaving i mean i don't really know where i'm going yet but i'm just saying like, so like this anyway so i'm gonna go like, eat that it's really hot in here <laughs> I don't want to play with you. That's hot. No, I don't like that. Honey, please come here right this instant. We don't get down at dinner. Okay, so it's like 11 something now and I always eat really late um, before bed because I have IBS so if I don't eat when I'm hungry, my stomach hurts really bad. Like I cannot go a long period of time without eating because then I'll get indigestion. Um, I'll get like, like just, I'll like feel the acid like burning my stomach and then like, then I'll get really bloated and then I'll wake up in the middle of the night like so bloated that I want to puke even though I didn't eat anything but it's because I didn't eat anything. It's really confusing. My digestion is kind of like effed up because of my IBS and my like anxiety that just like runs my family um but we're we're hanging in there anyways that was just like a tmi moment but it's okay so i'm having some popcorn we love a good popcorn moment um dude i just i've always loved popcorn i used to eat it as a snack like literally every night i don't eat it every night but it's such a good snack and i eat the whole bag and this is the kettle corn one so there's no butter in it. Um, guys, fun fact. I haven't really, like, eaten dairy since, like, for, like, three years, I think. Um, and then every time I go, like, if I'm at a restaurant and they use, like, butter or something, um, and I'll eat it, like, I can significant, because sometimes I'll do that, um, just because if I don't, <clears throat> if I choose to be, like, really strict with my plant-based diet, like, going out to eat um then it starts to create like more anxiety for me so i'm just like if it contains dairy or something and like just like let it go like it's not the end of the world so that's just been a thing like obviously i tried not to at all but just to eliminate some anxiety i'm just like it's fine like chill so if it contains butter anyways back to the butter thing the butter literally like i hate butter and i know that sounds weird but it literally tastes like Feet. it tastes so disgusting and it does not taste like what I remembered it to taste like um maybe it's because like my mom growing up like we would always just use margarine like I don't know why so that might be a reason but also I just like it's just really gross even butter popcorn I had like I lit I had one piece of butter popcorn like at the movies and I was just like like this is so gross and it's so weird like how my taste buds have changed for three years because like plant-based butter just tastes so good to me like that tastes like normal butter to me but i guess like not um and then every time i like smell cheese or if i want to like just take a bite just to like see what it tastes like again um like i don't want to go back to eating dairy but I, it's just like sometimes it's like oh let me try it like i don't know um Literally, I can't even get myself to do it. Like, I wanted to take a bite of a mozzarella stick, and I like literally like the smell. I was just like, okay, never mind. It's so weird because I used to like. I everybody loves cheese. You know what I mean? Like, I used to love cheese. Um, but that's just a little fun fact that like your your taste buds just change so much. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah. I mean, with me, I never am like, oh, let me try. It. No. Very good. Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> okay, so thank you for listening to my TED talk about my 
taste buds and my eating habits <laughs> i'm gonna go watch the rest of legally blonde because it's literally like one of the best movies ever like legally blonde and clueless and mean girls just like the best chick flicks ever i like hate watching new movies so i just like watch the same ones over and over again anyways legally blonde amazing we kind of love a feminist m movie <laughs> um anyways gonna watch the rest of that and then i'm gonna go to bed sometime soon probably but yeah i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much stay confident